Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Paris, 13th District. And this is a new French film from director Jacques Audiard and focuses on the lives of Emile, Camille, Nora, and Amber, who are these young people who cross paths, become friends, also sometimes lovers, sometimes both. It makes things interesting along the way. And I don't know why this title of this movie just makes me picture it. Paris, 13th District. This story is a very scattered narrative that bounces around between these different characters in a very episodic way. There's times where the narrative might not feel the most connected and the most well weaved together, but the positive thing is each of these episodes, each of these scenes are so well acted, well shot, beautiful black and white cinematography in this film, and really powerful performances really hook you and keep you engaged. This film is very passionate and very sexy and sexual, and there's a lot of sex in this movie. Um, it's very French. And there's sequences of like full-blown sexual encounters, there's graphic nudity, and it's not like a quick Hollywood sex scene where it's like you don't see a whole lot cutting and like you're focusing on people's faces and stuff like that. It's like, nope. They're focusing on a lot. And obviously that kind of thing might limit its audience. If you're not super comfortable with that, with the full-blown just expression of sexuality in this film, then just warning you, that might be a bit much for you. But what it does bring to these characters in the story is we feel this deep passion, this sexual attraction. Those feelings feel so fleshed out in these characters in this film that we feel for them because it isn't just like a... There's not just romantic dating. There's this sexual connections that are happening between these characters and feeling that intimacy as well. And you have all these different kinds of interactions and... Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't, but the human connections in this film are what really matters. And there's scenes where it's like, you know, one of the characters, Nora, winds up on a porn site and connecting with this woman that's over the cam. And they have this connection, and over the course of the film, it's like, we really feel this connection through this screen that's happening, which... Obviously, us feeling connected to these characters is us feeling a connection through the screen. So you have Audiard who is able to build that connection. And he was also one of the writers on this film. There was a lot of collaborators, including Celine Schiama, who is fantastic director in her own right with Portrait of a Lady on Fire. And I can't wait to see Petite Maman soon. But like... Sh there's a lot of great material in each of these scenes, these interactions. The cast is fantastic. Um, Naomi Merlin, who is from Portrait of a Lady on Fire, as Nora, she is fantastic. She, like, she really stands out because you could just feel she's just a star. And she has such a presence on screen. But she's so relatable in the fact that like she feels like she's playing just one of us who's having all these feelings and falling for the people that she's falling for. And we feel that and we're there with her. And the rest of this cast is fantastic too because like this, the cast, the filmmaking, and the writing in terms of like the characters and their connections is what makes this movie soar. And in the end, this is a unique and interesting collection of human interactions that vary from the small and romantic to the deeply graphic and intimate and sexual and it's able to weave all these together to make a compelling cinematic experience even if it's a bit scattered even if it's a bit messy so definitely would recommend this but mindful this goes goes to some places but those are my thoughts on Paris 13th District let me know what you think and let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.